morning guys morning i did go to bed despite putting the same top back on and being in the same chair no i did go to bed it must have been about half past one when i went to bed and i got up at half seven dexter got to school by the skin of his teeth because he kept saying to me oh mum, um, i don't feel well i need to stay off and i was like no you're not staying off Anyway, it is Tuesday, July the 9th, which means there is 10 days until I'm 50. 10 days. So I was going to be going out with my mum today. And I was secretly thinking, I hope she doesn't really want to go out. And it's raining as well. And if I've got to put her in a wheelchair, it's a soggy experience. So I was like, oh, when I got there, I was like, do you really want to go out today or are you not bothered? And she was like, I'm not bothered. So inside I was like, yes, even though I think oh, I should take her out. So we're planning on going out tomorrow now instead and I'm going to get on. I've just brought downstairs um, a little pile of Jules clothing that I'm going to stick on eBay. I have stuck a few things on already, but oh, I was having the arse to do it, you know. But anything is, I've got to iron them because they've been creased in a bag under my bed. So that's the joys. So I'm going to do that. I have looked on Cookadoo because I took out that big joint of beef, which is now nicely defrosted, and I am going to cook this. I'm gonna do it in the um in the cookadoo. In the cookadoo, I'm not cooking it in the cookadoo at all. The cookadoo is the recipe app. I'm cooking it in the thermomix. It does say to add a fresh chili. I don't have a fresh chili. Um actually, one second. Just stop quickly then, because uh my friend's popping over and I was like, oh, I bet she's got chilies. So I just messaged her, you ain't got any chilies, have you? And she's like, yeah, I've got red ones. I was like, oh, I'll give us a couple. So she's bringing me chilies. I'm a bit like that, whether to put the chilies in or not, but I'm going to put them in. Um, Warren likes something spicy. My mother's not having it because she's not a fan of curry. She'll have something else. So I'll stick, stick in the chilies. And I'm just going to do, I think, boring, bog bo boring rice. It's plain boiled rice, it's easier. I may even cheat because I think I've got the rice ready cooked rice in the cupboard. Still plain though. Um breakfast. Do you know what I've got up today with the mentality I just want to eat the world and I'm not going to. I'm gonna have to fight with myself all day today. But I've just took this out of the fridge. This is my breakfast. So I'm going to sit and munch this and contemplate on my life. Oh, and then iron that stuff. I'm, I'm looking over there because it's on top of my chair. Iron that stuff and stick it on the old bay. Get rid of some stuff. Make some room. Right. I'll catch up with you in a bit. I'm not sure what I'm doing for lunch. I've already got my mother's sandwich sorted. She's having a BLT. So I'm sending that down. Mackenzie can take that down. Um, and my lunch. I'm like, shall I make some mini quiches? Because I bought that new um, like muffin tray. I was thinking, oh, shall I try that out and see if they come out? Like little mini quiches, see if they stick. I may, I say may, make some of them. I'll see, and maybe boil some eggs and just have like a picky plate. I'll see how time goes, but yeah. And yeah, my day's going to be nice and boring. But I've got loads to do, so it'll be nice to have a boring day and I then will take my mother out somewhere tomorrow. Otherwise the guilt will set in. Right. I'll see you in a bit. Guys, I've ended up um, using a few calories to make my lunch. It's 585 calories. It's a Hovis burger bun. 
It's a pork and, um, what is it? A pork and Bramley apple burger from Tesco. Slice of cheese and a bit of ketchup. But my son wanted McDonald's and I said no. So I've just made them and that's what I've got for lunch. Oh God, guys. I just got off the phone. Um, oh, I just rang social services. <laughs> I finally rang social services about my mother. And do you know what? She was the nicest woman on the phone. I've been on the phone about half an hour. And they're ringing me back. They're going to come out or ring me or whatever. And she said there's loads of things they can offer for my mother to go to places during the day. You know, where they pick <laughs> pick them up in like a bus. <clears throat> and take them somewhere because I said you know it gets a bit boring just taking my mother to Tesco or something she needs stimulation other than me and I said and without being mean I said I'd like time to myself and not think oh I've got to go to my mother's and blah 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 and then I mentioned about showering my mother but and she was like yeah they can sort that out if need be but I don't know whether I would do that or not yet. It's just the stair climbing for me. I haven't told my mother I've rung them. I will do in the morning. She'll be all right. She just gets very anxious. So. We shall see what they say. I just feel a bit guilty. But it may be for the best in the long run. But, yeah, she might be able to um, make some new friends and stuff. Because I messaged one of her friends last week, right? Oh, wrong bit on the camera. Messaged one of her friends last week, right? How are you? Blah, blah, blah. Do you fancy coming over? I'll pick you up, take you home, come over for a few hours. And she didn't get back to me. She read the message, but she didn't get back to me. And I just think her friends, like her friend Peggy, she's lovely. She bothers all the time. Rings up, how's your mother? Blah, blah. And her friend Rose, she comes round every couple of weeks for an hour. But it's just like other people are like... Everyone's too busy with their own life, which is fair enough. But it's like that woman said. She said, you want to, you've got a young family. You want to do things for yourself as well and not have to be there. And she said there's some lot, some like care package or something for carers. But I'm not, I'm, I'm not up for that. I mean, very much just leave me alone and get on with it. But... You never know. If my mother goes for, tri for day trips out and stuff, you'll get better videos off me because I'll be able to do cooking videos and that without being interrupted. But, yeah. So everyone that was saying to me, it's about time you run social services or it's about time you got help. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. But I just think, oh. So I don't know what it is. It's You just think, oh, social services. Once you get social services involved, you never get bloody rid of them. But she was really nice, that girl on the phone. And I did say to her, would it be her or that number that I ring when things get worse? And I need, obviously, extra help because one day I'm going to need that. So, yeah, that's that. Now Jackson's come down. Hello. Hello. Come down for food, have you? Can you take this? Can you take that? It's a hard thing. I had one this morning, they weren't very nice. Got some nectarines ripen at home, but they're quite hard. Right, guys, I'm going. I need to go and start cooking my curry because I'm busy tonight and Warren, I want feeding before the madness starts. But yeah, I've done it. So, guys, this is our dinner. It's just finished. 
beef curry. This is the finished curry. I will stick all the calories on screen, but that's my dinner. It smells absolutely divine, so if it tastes as good as it smells, it's going to be nice. Guys, it's late. It's 20 to 1 in the morning. Um, I've kept myself busy tonight. I've been doing stuff, so I haven't eaten anything else. And I'm just about to go and put the leftover curry into a freezer bag and chuck it in my chest freezer because that curry was absolutely bloody banging. And when I can't be asked to cook one night, I can get that out for Warren to have with some chips or something. I'll definitely make that again. Tomorrow, well, today, I have no clue what we're having. I'm going to have to have a look, but I am going out with my mother. Um, home bargains, because I need to get some packaging to post off. Some bits I've sold on eBay, and I don't want to just send them in scruffy bits of packaging, so I need to get some stuff for that. And... A supermarket just to get a couple of bits so we am going to bed so yeah over and out guys I'll see you tomorrow and yeah night morning i'm just getting dexter to school by the skin of his teeth we're always late we're always late lately aren't we He's having a bit of an unusual breakfast. He's eating a burrito. Is it nice? Is it hot? No. It says it's hot. Well, like hot in like a spicy, spicy hot. Um, Don't get it on you. A little bit. And I'm actually half dressed looking. Um, I'm hoping my mother's in good form this morning and we can go out this morning rather than leaving it till later because I've got stuff I need to get done in the house so I was thinking if I go out this morning then I can come home and get on with that oh I've got a bit of a sore throat going on these temporary lights are a pain Wouldn't you think that people would let you through? No, of course not. Why is this car park so full at the moment? Is it because another car park's closed? It's never this full. People just don't look, do they? She's fully on pulled out then without even looking. Now there's another one. Get ready to jump out, love. There's too many idiots around. Yeah, we've got all the time in the world, love. You just take your time. Are they for real? Gee whiz. Wow. What a complete nutcase. That's it. I've made a decision. Half the people can't drive. But get ready to get out because the car behind me. Right. Yeah, I'll get out. You go through there. Or I can't go through there. Okay. Alright, see you later. Okay. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. See ya. Oh. That's him gone off to school. He'll be getting the bus when he goes for his new school with his brother. However, there's a big stink going on about that at the moment because they're stopping the buses. I think next September, there's gonna be no buses. So, 
Um, I'm going to have to take them then. It's too, too long a walk for them to walk. And it's dangerous. It's like roads with no pavements and stuff. So... Right, home bargains we're going to today. Home bargains and then we're going to either Tesco's or Sainsbury's or something like that. And I've just found a recipe to do for dinner tonight. I've taken some chicken out of the freezer. It is called Oh, what is it called? It's called One Pot Chicken Pasta or something like that. However, I'm going to slightly tweak the recipe as in how I cook it because it only does four portions. So I'm going to double the portions, um, which will then not allow me to um, put the pasta in because there won't be enough room in the pot. So I'm just going to cook the pasta on the hob and then chuck the um, chicken ingredients that I'm doing in the Thermomix in the pan then and mix it all together and do the last bit of cooking on the hob. That's the only um, one thing I have to say about uh, the Thermomix. I freaking love it but I wish it was double the size, you know? So I could make just that bit extra. I've also got some bananas that need using and I'm gonna make that, I think it was like a three ingredient banana bread off um, that Steph woman that I mentioned the other day. Um, but I am gonna add in some banana bread flavouring that I bought in Waitrose. So it'll be four ingredient. Right, I'm at my mother's now. Let's go in and see how she's faring. Right, I'm in. Morning. Morning. How are you this morning? Alright, just had a nice bowl of porridge. Feeling alright? As can be. As can be expected. I thought um, we'd go shopping this morning instead of waiting till later. Because I've got loads of stuff to do later and I've got to go to the post office and all that. So I thought we'd go out this morning for a change. Yeah. Are you up for that? Yeah, okay. I thought we'd start off in home bargains. Yeah. And then we'd go... Somewhere after that, wherever you fancy. <laughs> can either go up to Sainsbury's or can just go to Tesco as usual. Because we know where everything is in Tesco, don't we? Tesco. <laughs> well, where'd you fancy? <coughs> what about Asda then? Do you want to go to the Ritz? Do you want to go to the Ritz for what? afternoon tea? Remember the Ritz in oh, London? Yeah. Didn't you go there? Yeah, 70-something pence. Pence? Pound? Pound. What was it? 70-odd quid for a cream tea? 71. Your other daughter took you, didn't she? Yeah. What was that for? A special birthday or something? Or did she just take you? Another few months and it's going to be your birthday again. What are you going to be, 83? 83 years young. 83? That's how old you're going to be. <laughs> I don't know. And how old am I going to be next Friday? 50. 50, yeah. Can you remember having me 50 years ago? Huh? Can you remember yeah. what a beautiful little baby I was? 
Or was there a pain in the neck? You had a quick, um, not like Simon. I had a quick exit, did I? Didn't Simon hang on for days? Yeah. And then she came out the sunroof. I've got my little caesarean um, thing that was not caesarean. <clears throat> the little thing card they hung on your cot when you were born, telling you how much you weighed and what time you were born. Yours is all organised. Organised caesarean. Uh, Oh well. Right. Shall we sort you out and then go? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So, we're on our way to Home Bargains. Well, that was a hard shot this morning, guys. My mother was crying when we were out. Um, I bumped into a really old friend of mine, Steve. And I was chatting to him, and my mother was so rude, hutting and tutting and and all this drama, giving me evils. And it's like, Christ, I'm not allowed to chat to anyone because she was in a wheelchair having a time of her life. Anyway, got back in the car, and she was crying. And then um, I was like, "What are you crying for?" Oh, because I'm nothing but a nuisance. Oh, for fuck's sake. So I did say, I don't appreciate you being horrible when I'm talking to people. Anyway, she's home now. She's got a sandwich. She's having a lunch. And I'll give her a bell back in a couple of hours and she'll be fine. And then I'll go back down. Anyway, I just picked this up in Aldi because... I can't be bothered to make anything, to be honest. My son has got some chicken nuggets cooking. You know, the um, Aldi do, like, the dupe for um, McDonald's. They do, like, chicken nugget box. So I picked up two of them. I've chucked one in the freezer. One was spicy and one was plain. And I picked up some hash browns, because they do hash browns. And um, I can... You know, at the weekend, do the old hash brown bacon roll malarkey if they want it. I didn't get anything that exciting, so nothing much to show you. However, I did get this for my phone. I'm always putting my phone down and thinking, where the hell have I put my phone? It's a lanyard for your phone. And I was thinking, yeah, that's not going to be very strong. But that bit there, you take your phone out of the case and stick it to the case and put a, a bit through the hole... And then that attaches to it, so it won't come off. Two pound bargain. Um, I just got cleaning stuff, really, and there was nothing exciting to show you. Toilet rolls, ladies' products. Oh, I did buy this. I squared it. It smells quite nice. The name of it, though... I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a dupe for the, um, oh, I know the one, that one, which Warren's bought me in the past. I think it's a dupe for that. It smells nice. New 2 I love a bargain. <clears throat> I did look a bit um, overdressed with my top, the cold shoulder, fancy, glittery top going to home bargains, but I had a coat on. Anyway, I'm back home. It's 20 to 1. I'm going to edit my video. I'm waiting for my Dex to come home because I said I wanted to go down the tip. And he was like, oh, please wait for me to come home. He said, I want to do the tip. I said, no, it's fine. I'll go with Mackenzie. He went, no, you know I, I ain't like doing the tip. <sighs> so we're doing that this afternoon, going back down the tip. The joys of being having an exciting life. Anyway, I was just thinking about doing that pasta for tea, when I? And I've noticed I've got beer battered cod in the fridge to use. And 
there's a few bits to use. So whether I actually make that or not, I might not end up making it today, but I've defrosted the chicken, so we'll see. I might make it tomorrow. The chicken will be all right one day. You'll see later anyway what it ends up being. So I'll catch you in a bit.